um, have other animals. Yes, I have chickens mm -hmm. and a duck. Oh, a little know. farm in the desert. Yeah. Your dog, how is she around them? Great. Oh, okay. she's so good. Border Collies are instinctively herding dogs. So placing one in a home with chickens and ducks is going to be interesting. So we have three candidates to show you. All three have distinct different personalities. Okay. This is a challenging adoption. Not only do one of our three Border Collies have to make a connection with Denise, the dog she picks up then has to make a connection with her dog, and then we have to hope that they don't chase down her chickens and ducks. So we've got our work cut out for us. Yeah, Cheyenne is our social butterfly. <laughs> Cheyenne is like ready to rock and roll. Cheyenne is super social. Like she just comes out happy and wiggling. She loves every dog. She loves every person she meets. She looks just yeah. like my dog. I already had something in my heart for Cheyenne because I saw her picture on the website, so I already, I already loved her. Oh, good gracious. <laughs> Hi. Really? You come Hi. in with a bang. I loved her face. It was just sweet and kind. Hi, you got a baby? You got your baby? Come here. Yeah, he, really? Come I actually got to hang out with you. Come on. Come here. Oh, I no, see you, Cheyenne. You. I'm seeing you again. I see you again. I know. Come here. I see you again. Cheyenne was very interested in everything. Come here. Come here. She was interested in the toys. Hey, what are you doing? Snipping the furniture. Come here. The gravel. Just everything but Denise. Sit, sit, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit I am disappointed about Cheyenne. That's the one that I had originally wanted, but um, I think that would have not been a good fit for our family. Now let me talk about Flower. I okay. can extremely sweet, great with the other dogs. Okay. Flower is about as border collie as they come. When Flower is out in the yard with the other dogs, all Flower wants to do is work. She is a phenomenal dog if you want a real Border Collie. She's pretty. She's different looking, too. Hi. Yeah, we got some great video, great pictures of her, like, working the yeah, other dog. Yeah, you're pretty girl. Yeah. yeah, you're a pretty girl. Come here. Yeah. Come Flower on. did what Flower does, and that was work the room. She was just running the perimeter fence, busy, 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 looking for something to do. She's trying to get out. Oh, yeah, she's busy. She's a busy one. Come here, baby. I just think Flower had a little bit too much energy and wouldn't be the best fit for Molly. Hi. Say bye-bye. Bye, Flower. The reality is we are a pit bull rescue, and we have plenty of pit bulls to choose from, and Denise is here for a border collie, and we only have three. Um, not too many border collies out here in the world. Yeah. We are running out of options, and I'll hate for Denise to have driven all this way to go home empty-handed, so I want to give it one last try. Okay, so we'll get Chase. He's the, he's the puppy. Okay. He's um, a real pretty dog. Chase is about five months old, and although he's young, he just has that old soul feeling about him. He's very calm. He's just really laid back. And he is a dog that really seems to like a lot of human interaction. He's pretty cute. Oh, he's real cute. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you. Hi. 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 Oh, and you have puppy breath. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, I see you. Oh, my. He just seemed very mellow. The other two girls were rambunctious, and he, he just seemed like more of a personality fit for, for my home. He's very sweet. Yeah, he is very sweet. I think Molly's going to be more accepting of some dog that's a little bit younger in the training aspect of it, too. I love him already. You want to come home with me? I have a nice yard. You do. I have chickens. Oh, I have chickens. Denise had an immediate connection with him. And right away, you could see that Chase felt the same way. And finally, it was like, yes, we have a winner. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like you. <laughs> Obviously, the other concern is, you know, will Denise's Border Collie at home feel the same way about Chase that Denise does? Well, we will definitely um, we'll put him through his paces. Since Denise has chickens and a duck, we are going to keep Chase with us and do a little bit of work with him to make sure that he can take on the challenges that he will have when he gets to Arizona. Come on, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye, Chase. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Okay. Bye. Say bye. So hopefully Chase will get through the next phase of this adoption process, and then we can get him out to Arizona to meet his potential new sister in Arizona and find his forever home. We're in Mesa, Arizona, on our way to Chase's new potential home with Denise, her husband, and their dog, Molly. Molly and Chase have never met. Hi. How are you? Good. And doing an adoption like this, where the dogs are just meeting for the first time, is more of a risk. But we're hoping, because both of the dogs are dog friendly, that it's going to go really well. Hi, I'm Ryan. That's David, my husband. We've been preparing for Chase's arrival, and we were very excited about uh, the stay. This is Molly. We're just so excited Chase is here. We've been doing a lot of stuff out back to get prepared with the chickens and the duck, and so I hope he fits really good here. Yes, beautiful. Yeah, we like this house. And the backyard's perfect oh for a border collie. Oh. <laughs> the backyard was way beyond what I could have asked for him. The fence was concrete, and obviously there's no getting through that, so that made it a whole lot easier. So the coop's completely enclosed. Yeah. And then we have a duck. How cute! He looks ceramic. 30-hour drive didn't make me any less scared of chickens, so I was extremely happy to see that the chickens and the duck were in chicken coop. But when we bring him out, we just want to make sure that Chase still can't cause any trouble. So after making sure that the backyard and the house was OK, we wanted to bring the dogs out and introduce them for the first time on neutral ground. Let's take them on a walk. OK. Out front. Okay. okay. We were very excited to see Chase. I hope it's just going to work out great. Our whole family's ready for it. Oh. Oh. OK, hang on, hang on with that. Right off the bat, Molly started going crazy. She was barking and kind of freaking out, so I really wanted to take things slow. Just start walking with her. Ah, ah, ah. Don't let him uh, sniff yet, though. He's going to walk. Knock it off easy. Come on. Put your hair down, goofball. Ah, ah. Oh, it's a baby. Yeah, Can you say hi? Molly calmed down a little bit, but she still just didn't seem that interested. You are not into this right now. She didn't show any sh sort of signs of wanting to play, and it really worried me. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do with it. See, I actually think she'll do better in her own yard, because she's just so sensitive to what's going on. Yeah. You know, she's like, it whacks her out. OK. After their initial meeting, Denise suggested that we take the dogs in the backyard. She told me that Molly is a lot more calm in the backyard than she is in the front. You want to go out back? Molly's very comfortable there, and she's very playful. OK, ready? There. Yeah, that's good girl. Come on, Molly. Now she wants to play. See how it changed? Play with me. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Okay. As soon as we got in the backyard, Molly turned into a completely different dog. This is too freaking cute. <laughs> Molly instantly just started running around and playing and did exactly what Denise told me she was going to do. Who's going to wear her out? Watching Molly and Chase was very exciting, playing and a lot of energy, and that's why we wanted uh, a puppy. <laughs> the bumper car. A huge relief came over me when I saw it. You could automatically see it when we got back there that it was true love. She's going to be OK. The only other thing that I want to do is bring Chase over to the chickens real fast. Okay. As much as I didn't want to, I had to take Chase over to the chicken coop to see if he was going to go after them. And if he does, I wanted to show the adopters the training techniques that we had worked on with him. Chase, come here. Good. I did a recall, and he came right back to us and left the chickens alone. You're a good boy. What is that noise? What was that? Nothing? Awesome. That's exactly what I want. After seeing that and the way that he connected with Molly, I knew that Chase was going to be really happy here. <laughs> He'll do good here. Yeah. He sure will. I'm not worried now. To be able to rescue a dog is very rewarding for me. Oh, I love you. I already love you. As a dog lover and an animal lover, we're really grateful that we're able to do this. They look like identical. Yeah. She's got a little more white on her chest. Molly, it's your brother. Hi. Chase is on uh, home run. We're, this is, we're home free now. I'm so glad.